Well, a lot of people want to know how to tag photos in uh, the photo app in Windows 10 because they're used to putting tags that categorize their uh, photos. So instead of using the new uh, way that photo app tries to do it is by date, they still want to use personal tags, which is great. The only thing is, is you can't do it from within the photo app. It's a viewer and an editor as far as the image quality and things like that. But in order to edit the actual uh, tags, you're going to have to uh, go to the photo uh, where it resides on your uh, computer. But if you're in Photo App and you want to go ahead and find that photo, you click on the photo to take a look at it. And you can do a couple of things here. But what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, right click on the photo and bring up the dialog boxes to work with. Now you'll see there's a whole bunch of choices here that you can investigate uh, for other things. But uh, you can rotate and enhance. You can do all of some of the stuff right here from that. But let's go to the bottom to where it says File Info and we click on that. You notice it brings up uh, all the details from your photo. Nothing that you can actually work with, but at least it, uh, it shows you what the uh, properties there are. And here's where it's stored at. You can click on that Open Folder there, okay, uh, and go ahead and edit there. But we're not going to use this. It's just to show you uh, one of your options. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close this uh, area over here. Just by click. Oh no, we have to click up top and say close. We're going to go back to the photo itself. I'm going to right click. It's going to go down here to open folder. Now that opens up wherever your photo is stored. In this case, it's camera roll uh, because I took this with my camera. Now, because we're going to be working now in File Explorer here, we don't really need to have the photo app open. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. Now you can go back and leave it open and go back and work uh, select a different photo, but you can do all that from here as well. But uh, we'll go over here, make sure we're in view mode like you see here, and uh, we're going to change some settings. So the first thing we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to choose a photo, and we're going to right click on it. Uh, so I'm going to grab uh, oh, this photo here. I'm going to right click on it, and as you can see it has some details there, but if I right click on it, I bring up the normal properties dialog box. So let's do that. And at the very bottom, you'll see Properties. And we go ahead and click on that. And then you'll see a Details tab. And then let me move this up a little bit. And we're going to click on the Details tab. And you'll see about the fifth item down is Tags. So you can go ahead right here and say, OK. It even prompts you, Add a Tag. So it will type in here, Test. And if I go you know, off of it, uh, it doesn't apply it until you click on OK. But let's go ahead and add some more. It adds the uh, a prompt for another tag, test OGG. If I, again, if I click up here again, it's going to say add a tag. Or you can do it yourself uh, just by adding multiple tags. So once you're done with all that, you come down here. And oh, not comments, but let's take a look at the uh, tags up the head above that. And we're going to say, OK, that's good. So we click on OK. Now it's a little tedious to sit there and tag all those individually. So we're first going to go up to here, make sure we're in the view mode at the top, and it's a large icon so it's easy for you to see what you're working with. And then I'm going to go over here and with details, I'm going to turn on the details pane. And when I click at that, you'll see the same information that you see about the photo in the properties dialog box. So we click on that, and sure enough, there they all are. Now you can do the same editing as you did in the last step um, using that same as this details pane. But what we're going to use it today for is we're going to select all. And you see that it has an image there of them all together and how many are selected. And it says show more details. So if I click on that, it doesn't have everything there, but you'll notice the first thing it has is tags. So theoretically here, if I type in a tag, I'll tag every one of these items with that particular tag. And once I'm done, I uh, hit the Save button at the bottom and it'll apply to every single photo. But I didn't want all those tags, so I'm going to back out of that. Instead, I'm going to go over here and just uh, get a couple of them. You notice that most of the tags are back now because they have a lot of matching properties. Uh, they're not some JPEGs and some videos, for example. But if I click over here and I start adding a tag in here, and uh, you know what, I'll start, I'll uh, just put in here, uh, these are both uh, 
sh shot to the moon. So uh, I was going to do an artistic thing here. So I can type in any text I want that I think are relevant for that particular photo. Uh, art shot or something or uh, moon. Okay, whatever. So anyways, once I type those in and I'm done making my tag entries, I can just... Let me put a second one in just to show you. Uh, let's just do test. You see that I hit enter and they both got automatically done. There's no save button down here. They automatically, as soon as I hit enter, uh, were applied. Because they had all matching properties, everything like that, I just assumed when you were done, you were done. Let me go through that again. Now here is a single photo doing properties. If I go to details and I click on tags, I want to type something in there, I have to hit OK at the bottom, okay, uh, to do it. But here, again, with the view pane on the side, you simply select the number of photos you want and just add your tags, hit enter, um, and I just put boom, and it's done. They're now tagged properly. Now, here I've opened up file browsers on two different systems. One is the one the photos we were just working on, and the other one is uh, where I store my photos for my. Uh, you do videos. So when I pull these these two uh, photos here over to here to copy them over here, uh, it's important to note a couple of things. One, that if you go to properties here uh, and we go to details, you'll see that the tags uh, remain. Uh, same with this one, it has the other tag, it has slightly different tags, if you remember from just a little bit earlier. So that all works out really well. Uh, these these got copied perfectly as far as tagging goes. But if you notice, if uh, you go into the details, you'll see that the date taken did not get affected, so you still have that information as well when you copied it over. Now, some of you might be asking, well, why tag photos? What's so good about it? Well, let's say you're trying to find a photo. For example, if I click on my pictures here underneath YouTube, there's nothing in there. I don't remember which project it was under. Uh, all I remember is I put a tag about something about moon or maybe it was an event, a picnic or whatever. So rather than having to go through all these different photos to try and find things, I don't have to do that. I can simply use the built-in search functions in Windows. So I just go over here and I click on up here and I type in moon. And sure enough, instantaneously it found these. So what good does that do? Well, I can grab them, I can look at the information, and I'm going to right-click and say, oh, open it right away, or edit it, it'll jump to the photo editor, or rotate it a little bit. You can do a couple of little things to it. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, and also, if you go uh, here, down here, and just say, open file location, you're back there with all of the other photos. You don't have to search for it. That's where you're working at with your projects. So there you have it. Uh, there's uh, how to tag uh, photos in uh, Windows 10. Just use your File Explorer, not the photo uh, app, and uh, you'll be fine. It's exactly like it was the way it was in uh, Windows 7. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.